permanent uh, locked up on the launch. And with that, we, we knew the allowance of was high, and so we expected to credit back. But with that, there's been some uh, changes in the hazard doors. You, we talked about the door that was supposed to be fired, but wasn't last time. There's a couple of those. I don't know what that net sums to be because we're still working on the units right now. So there's a credit offset yet, but uh, we may end up with a little bit of net change. Can we, um, is this an item we could take into executive session at the end of the meeting? Can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I guess, then I'm going to have to ask you here. What are our options? Well, you, you know, what you've heard, what are our options? You're going to get two options. You're going to get two options. Pay it yeah, not pay it. All right, but if we yeah. don't pay it, what's the consequence? What happens if we don't pay it? <laughs> Somebody will I mean, somebody, they're either going to come back at us for the 37000 or they don't have grounds to come back at us for the 37000 Well, they have the, the contract. No, I, I, that's not it. I mean, <coughs> the contract is going to come after us for the 37000 exactly. He's going to get paid, or so he's going to compromise and come for some other number. The question is, what are you going to do? Are you going to fuss at him and tell him, we want, you, we want your company to pay it, or we want somebody to pay it, or are you just going to pay it yourself? I mean, the contract is entitled to be paid. He's done the work. He's, I mean, is that a fair statement? Yeah, I mean, it's, and the GC on the job, as far as the relationship has been great, um, to come down to it, you guys aren't going to pay this. It's going to be probably Mr. Hamilton, um, like the GC, Taylor from my firm, and probably the roof we're seeing now, and hashing out and seeing there's going to be a lot. And I don't think we get the point of doing anything from a legal standpoint. I mean, I don't know if I can tell you tonight I can come up with 37K to say, okay, pay. I don't know that. A financial person's not here. So I don't think I could just say, yeah, pay that 37K and I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, that's what I'm going to have to see before I can approve a bill. I got to know we can pay it. Would you, do you want to call Jamie on the phone? Or well, I mean, that, I mean I, how can I approve a to pay a bill when I don't know where the funds you are. You just told us there you got uh, 15, 15 you can show. But, but we don't know where the remaining is going to possibly come. 22K is real outstanding. Well, it, it's, he's looking at $24,000 net difference. So so it cost you 37000 but six no 12000 that you were going to write a check for somewhere else, right. you're not going to write a check for right. So. It, all in all, I mean, if you talk about how many dollars you're reaching in your pocket for, maximum it, 24. It's 24. Carolyn told you where you were going to get 15. 15. On the, so, so if you use all that money on that, you're down to 9,000 now. You got to look for. It. But exactly as you said, if you use all this money here, if it can, if, if there's another contingency, then you got to find that one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, The other thing we can do is if you guys don't take action on that time, we can try to um, have that meeting in the coming week and give a question out to you guys in the coming week. Can we do a radical poll vote? Well, a poll vote doesn't give you the opportunity to really get into the question, answer, uh, and, and the probing process because that is a poll vote. They're going to talk to you, they're going to talk to you. So that's what, uh, that's the, the whole thing. And, uh, but again, you still don't have the opportunity to do in-depth probing, even if Jamie said you got the money here or there or whatever. So the question is, do we want to hang ourselves out for $24,000? I think the contractors need to be paid. Well, I know the contractor needs to be paid. You know, if I did a I job, I wouldn't be paid. I think it's always a bottom line. So and I think we're talking about 9000 I think we have the fund effort. I think we need to go ahead and, and pay. And I think the question is, is who, who is responsible for paying that? Yeah, they need to be paid. Yeah, they did the work. It's a question of who is responsible for the payment of that work. It could be us. It could be their firm. Can it? Can it I know the guy needs to get paid. Can it wait until I'm in for me? But that's in January. Though. Well, here's the well, January. Yeah, we, we are wrapping up this month. We are with the MDA funds that are coming and the some of the projects that we're going to utilize the funding that fund for. We're looking to roll those into rocket construction contracts. So their contract will be extended beyond the end of the shooting school opens. Uh, that doesn't mean they're subject to be happy about the fact he hasn't been paid yet, but they'll see them get their contracts and you guys go 
large battalion in that kind of still open, so. Oh, but now, if it's if it's of the opinion of the board that we're going to pay it anyway, well, then we need to to just ask Miss Hamilton to have Jamie go find where the money's coming from, and then we could do I a can, poll vote on that. Well, that's yeah. what I asked, or, or we could just say we know we got fifteen thousand, and we pay half, and then we can settle. Could we? The company pay the other half. And I will tell you, Rod Cook's been wonderful to work with. Um, Taylor Giles Architects does, they've been wonderful. They've taken on extra jobs through this MDA grant that he's getting very paid very little for compared to what the other people are paying, and they've had to put everything on hold to go after this. That's 1.5 million that we wouldn't have gotten without him doing and overseeing. Um, and I think he's only gonna make what twenty thousand in that at the most, huh? You're not yeah, that I mean, they're doing that basically to help us if Okay, there's fifteen thousand here. Can we leave it where we pay them? Take the other nine thousand out of my discretionary. That will just mean that if PTOs or somebody comes to me for something, I don't pay it. We don't. All we have a set amount there, so and then if Jackie can find it somewhere, take it. Then if he can find another thing to come back. Okay. All right. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. And okay. if he yeah, comes back it. with another place that maybe we get more money from FEMA, then it's so then it's that out of the discretionary fifteen that you just located. Mm -hmm. We have the fifteen thousand that FEMA that we know about that I told you about, and then the other nine thousand out of my discretionary if Jamie doesn't find anything else. Okay. But before Jamie finds it somewhere else. I want to be able to say, yeah, that's a good source for that money or not. Right we now, would have to come to you to what change. I'm approving tonight is coming out of the discretionary. That's okay. right. 15K that you explained to us and nine out of the discretionary. Yes. Okay. Okay. Comments, please. Yes, sir. Um, I know that that was handled by the Commerce Department. He doesn't feel comfortable because where is it going to come from? Do we have it? Can we afford it? And, and, that, and I appreciate that. Um, so I, I, it's just, and I appreciate Carolyn offering her, her funds too, because uh, PTO funds are extremely important. And, um, the, and Tim, I used those for like last year when we bought all the smart boards. PTO paid half, I paid half. So it's not actually PTO funds. No, it's not. It's what I no, use I, if something special comes up that we don't have the funds for. But, uh, many times when PTO comes to you, it's, it's, it's important stuff too. Yes, it is. Yes. Um, so somehow I would like, uh, when everybody is thinking about this right now, I mean, we, we need a more warm and fuzzy feeling about a lot of these things. And, and uh, we're not contractors, we're not construction experts or anything, and so this is kind of a tough thing for us to handle in this whole process. And, and, it's, um, and I appreciate uh, our architects working with us and doing everything they can for us, too. Thank you. And we do. I mean, I know and he said thank you, Tim. Well, I mean, I, I, <laughs> this is just one of those cases to where you know, yeah, you work hard with us, and, and we appreciate it. You've been easy to work with. But this is a situation here to where, at no fault of ours, it's costing us an extra thirty-seven thousand dollars. Yeah, and I appreciate that. I appreciate you understand the condition of the city. You know that the school system's in and in the tight budgets. The way we try to make up for that is the same day that I'm in the I've got to be in the I can guarantee that the fee that we are going to get from the projects, I've already spent and put in the paperwork to see that grant you guys. And we're going to know what to put So we're going to match you guys. No. 